traveling, it's all about experiences and sort of just awakening things that are silent for most of the time because you're working or you're busy with kids. There's just something very spiritual about being somewhere that has been around longer than you can fathom. When you step into those places, a sense of awe and wonder and amazement that, that you feel. Most of the Armenian cuisine is a labor of love. It takes a lot of time and energy and effort. That reminded me of my dad and my uncle. That was every Sunday. That was every weekend for us for a long time. I keep going back to my ancestors, and I keep thinking about their walk and imagining walking through that terrain. My grandmother was two years old when the genocide began. And they walked, and they were told that, um, that they were just being relocated. Very quickly, they just realized that they weren't being moved. They were being, they were being marched to their death. April 24th, 1915 marks the day that the genocide began. In two years, over one and a half million Armenians were killed. I mean, I don't think anyone can quite comprehend or explain how, how horrible it was. My grandmother watched her mom die of dehydration and then she was an orphan. And similar with my grandfather, he was also orphaned. You know, I heard all the stories of fighting for survival, and I felt like I owed it to her to be the best version of me that I could be. The soup kitchen, that was like sitting around a table with a bunch of my aunties and, you know, grandmothers. They each sort of shared that without far, and without the soup kitchen, there would be no regular meals and nutritious meals. She was talking about how her grandmother was in the genocide and was also an orphan. It was hard to hear. And, you know, the woman has absolutely nothing, and she was apologizing to me because she wanted to give me a gift but had nothing to give me. So she kissed me on the cheek and gave me a blessing, and, and she went off. My dad, the one thing that he's always said that was impressed upon him by my grandmother is Mundara Barbukir which is, something good will come of this, too. These people are able to find the positive. I've always wondered where I get my strength. It does feel like sewn into my being. I have not met a single person in this country who has not fought like hell to be where they are. <laughs>